What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So today is going to be a love reading. I'm going to look at your past, the current energy, and what you guys have coming for you in the future, okay? Let's tap into this energy. What messages do you have for my Scorpios today? Okay, so you had two cards that came out. So, just had this in the last reading. You guys could be seeing the number 7-7. Seven, seven. So, the first card that came out, we have Crown Chakra and we have Patience and Planning. So, I feel like right now, Scorpio, some of you guys could be trying to be patient right now. You're patiently planning something or you're trying to plan something. And this could be some things that you, your Crown Chakra has been activated about trying to maybe keep you guys patient. So, maybe in the past, you guys were dealing with something that you had to be patient about. And it was like your spirit... Spirit guys were trying to activate your crown chakra, you know, give you downloads and, and let you know that everything is going to be all right. Everything that you want and everything that you're needing, everything that you're wishing for, it's going to come in the future, but you just have to be patient. So during this time that you are patient, Spirit wants you to be planning. They want you to be planning for your future, make some set some goals for yourself, you know, things that you want to do, things that you want to accomplish in your future. Let's look at your current energy. So we have intuition. So I feel like a lot of you guys right now, you feel like your intuition may be having, you know, using your intuition now possibly more than you ever have in the past. You feel like there are some things that maybe um, has been shown to you and it was like in the past, you know, maybe you were not being able to intuitively see these things. But it's like now, you know, there are some things that maybe caught your attention and you're understanding that you're going to have to be patient when it comes to whatever it is that you guys are wanting to manifest to have it manifesting. You could got, you could be seeing um, synchronicities at this time. So remember, we have the number 77. Seven. Some of you guys could be seeing the number 2. But it's like you're getting different signs and synchronicities that's making you look in. It's making you reflect. It's making you open up your eyes. It's making you activate this crown chakra and see what these messages are that you've been trying, you know, that your angels and your spirit guides have been trying to tell you. Let's look more into it. Okay, so we have awareness. So there is something definitely here that I feel like spirit is trying to, you know, put you in this energy of being aware about. They want you to be more intuitive. So you may have some things coming to you in the future, Scorpio. That in the past, you know, you may have been in the dark about some things or you may not be been able to use discernment to be able to use your intuition. But I feel like now that you're in this energy of patience, now that you're having to self-reflect and just kind of sit in this energy, it's like you can kind of plan for things in the future. It's like now you can be able to use your intuition because you're more aware of your surroundings and the things that you have going on around you. And then we also have the waiting game. So currently now, Scorpio, you're still having to wait. Whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish and want to accomplish at this time, you're still having to wait. So just know that good things are coming to you, Scorpio, but it's just going to take patience. And it's like it's so hard to be patient. I ain't going to lie, because that's one thing that I struggle with myself is being patient. It's like especially when you know you got shit coming to you. It's like, man, when, when we going to get to the good part already? You know what I'm saying? But it's like you've been intuitively. It's like intuitively you know that you have good shit coming to you. It's just all about being Patient. Patience is a virtue. Good things come to those who wait. So let's see what your future looking like, Scorpio. What messages do you have for my Scorpio today, Spirit? Okay, destiny. What did I just say earlier? You are destined for some things in the future, Scorpio. But right now, you know some things are working behind the scenes for you. Can't have it all right now. You know what I'm saying? You got good luck. You got fortune coming to you. It's like you have a cycle. That's why you're having to be patient right now because with this destiny, it's like you have a cycle to have um, change. You know, there you're being patient because there are a lot of things that are changing for you right now. And that's why you're having to wait. You have success that's coming to you. You're destined to be successful in the future, Scorpio, but you still got to wait. And you're growing during this time that you're having to be patient. This is also testing your growth. This is also helping you to grow in a more positive way. So that way, when your destiny arrives, and this good fortune arrives for you guys, then, hey, you're going to be ready. You're going to be opening arms and be like, hey, I'm ready to receive whatever this is. All right, let's look more at this destiny. What messages do you have for my Scorpio today, Spirit? Tell me more about destiny, Spirit. Okay. 
So right now, so in the future, you can be working on building a firm foundation. So right now, all these changes, all these things that you're going through right now is to build a firm or to have a stronger foundation in the future. So this foundation can be within love. This foundation can be within, you know, for your family, trying to provide the stability that you want for your family at this time. Tell me more about destiny, spirit. Tell me more about destiny. Okay. Then we have conflict and defeat. So I feel like right now, because it's taken a while to get to this destiny, or you feel like this destiny is not this good luck, this fortune, this success that you know that you have coming to you. It's like you're having to wait. And so it could have you in inner conflict right now because you're having to... You're having to be patient. It's like, you know, Scorpios, we don't like to be patient. I damn sure know I don't like to be patient. So it's like you can feel defeated. Or in the future, you can be feeling defeated because you're still having to wait. It's like this whole reading is about having to have patience and having to wait for the good things that's coming to you, Scorpio. So just be patient because something good is coming. Then we have the number 88. You're on the verge of a prosperous and abundant life. Continue to focus on the positive outcomes by manifesting great wealth and abundance. So there you go. That's, that's, your, um, that's your confirmation right there, Scorpio. So another number you guys could be seeing is 88, the number 10, 21277. Let's get one more angel number. So this lets you know this is your confirmation right here, Scorpio, that you're destined in the future for this great for this wealth, for this abundance. But right now, this is just the waiting game. Spirit wants you to continue to manifest. Continue to be patient and continue to be positive while you're waiting on these changes. 888, everything to, will come together when it's supposed to, Scorpio. So there is no need for you guys to be in this energy of conflict, to have this inner conflict or to feel defeated. Because you got good shit coming to you, Scorpio. You just got to wait. So you can be seeing the numbers 88 or 888. <laughs> All right, Scorpio, so that's all I have for you guys. I hope something here has resonated with someone. If it did, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. Stay blessed and see you next time.